Hello, grade three. So today we're going to dig a bit deeper into what we started talking about yesterday, which is the concept of main idea. So yesterday was just an introduction to dip our toes in. We're going to take a better look at it today. So if you didn't watch this at the end of yesterday's video, that's perfectly fine. Um, if you did, that's also fine. Regardless, I want you to pause this video and go watch it. Even if you watched it yesterday, I want you to watch it again so that it's all fresh in your mind because this does a really good job of explaining main idea and then we'll talk about it together. So pause and go do that. The link is in the description of this YouTube video. All right, welcome back. So things that we need to know. We need to know the topic. We need to know what the paragraph or the piece of writing is about. We need to find um, supporting details, so things that help prove that that's what it's about. And then the main idea, which is the sentence or the part that tells us what the text is mostly about. So here are some other tips we can use to help us find the main idea sometimes. So in your home learning journal, you're going to write today's date. You're going to write, I can find the main idea of a text. And you're going to write, the main idea is what the writing is mostly about. If you'd like, you can also copy this down into your book, but that is up to you. It is helpful, so I recommend it, but that's up to you. So you can ask yourself, what was it mostly about? You can look at the title because the title often gives you clues for this. You can look at pictures. Um, sometimes they even tell you the main idea in the very first sentence. This isn't all the time though, this is just sometimes, so keep that in mind. And you can use, uh, you can look for, sorry, clue words that are used repeatedly. So sometimes they'll repeat the same thing over and over again, and that's how you can find the main idea. So you can pause this and finish writing that down. So let's work together to find the main idea of this piece of writing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it, and then we're going to use those clues to help us decide what we think might be the main idea. So I'm just gonna get my pen here. I'm going to use blue today. So let's just read it. First, let's look at the title, The Storm. Hmm, maybe, well, most likely, this paragraph is going to be about a storm, okay? The picture shows me lightning. That makes me think maybe it's a rough storm, something like that, okay? The rain began early in the morning. It fell as hard drops, one after another. The sky was full of dark purple clouds. Thunder began as a soft rumble and became louder and louder. Lightning crashed every few minutes, making the sky a brilliant white. Hmm, so I'm gonna use my pen here and I'm going to think about what this could be about. So it doesn't always tell us in a sentence what the main idea is, but we can kind of put that together ourselves based on what it's talking about. So we learn about the rain, that they were hard drops, there were dark purple clouds, the thunder became louder and louder, and lightning crashed. Those all, to me, make it sound like it was a rough storm or a bad storm. Let's see what we can find out. So some supporting details there. So again, supporting details are the things that help to build up the main idea or they support it. So one way that you can think about this is a table. The main idea is the top part of the table, okay? So here's my table. And the supporting details are like the legs of the table. Okay, so each leg needs to be there. If one of those came off, the table would be unstable and it would fall over. It wouldn't be able to stay up. So the supporting details don't tell us the main idea, but they tell us kind of about the main idea. So they're extra facts about the main idea, okay? They help to prove the point. So some of the, the supporting details that I saw were that the clouds were dark purple, that told me about the storm. The thunder became louder and louder and that the raindrops fell one after another. Now, there were other supporting details in there as well. However, these are the three that I've chosen, okay? Now, 
let's think about what the main idea was. So from this selection of four options, I want you to pause and I want you to think about which one makes the most sense to you. So was it that the farms needed rain? Was it that the thunder hurt the people's ears? Was it that the lightning made the sky bright? Or was it that the storm was very strong? So pause and think about that and then come back. All right, if you chose D, the storm was very strong, then you are correct. So these are all good options, but D is the, what it's mostly about. So farms do need rain, but the paragraph isn't really telling us about farms or about how farms need rain. The thunder can hurt the people's ears, but we only really hear that there's thunder once. It's not like the whole paragraph is about thunder. And lightning did make the sky bright, but the whole paragraph wasn't about lightning. It was about a storm. Those were just parts of the storm that helped support it, okay? So the storm was very strong is our main idea. Let's do another one together, okay? Let's keep practicing because this can be a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna read this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try and decide on what we think the main idea is and some supporting details, okay? So it says, I can have fun in almost any weather. When it is sunny, I like to ride my bicycle or go for a walk. I also like to go to the beach and practice being a mermaid in the water. When it is raining, I like to splash around in puddles or stay inside and do some coloring. If there is a thunderstorm, I like to watch the lightning dance across the sky and dance while pretending the thunder is drums. If it is snowing, I like to build snowmen, make snow angels, and try to catch snowflakes on my tongue. So each of these sentences tells me something about weather and activities that I can do in that different weather. Each one of those things I think would be a good supporting detail. So when it's sunny, I like to ride my bicycle would be a good supporting detail. And when it's raining, I like to splash around in puddles. What I think the main idea is here is actually just this first sentence that the, the person who wrote this can have fun in almost any weather. And the reason that I think that's the main idea is because that's what it's mostly about. It's telling me about all the fun things they can do in different types of weather, any type of weather. weather. So this would be my main idea and each of these bits and pieces talking about different pieces of weather and what you can do to have fun would be the supporting details. They're helping to prove that point, okay? So here are some of the supporting details that I chose. There were lots in there, but these are the three I chose. I chose that when it is sunny, I like to ride my bicycle or go for a walk. I chose when it is raining, I like to splash around in puddles or stay inside and do some coloring. And I chose, if it is snowing, I like to build snowmen. So I chose these supporting details because each one tells me about a different type of weather and something fun that you can do in each of those types of weather. And this helped to lead up to my main idea that the writer can have fun in almost any weather. They were helping try to prove that. They were giving examples. So, but what do I do if the main idea isn't in the first sentence? So we got lucky in that last one because right at the very beginning, it told us exactly what the paragraph was going to be about, what its main idea was. So let's take a look, look at this one. Spots the barn cat. So I'm gonna look at the title. I think it's gonna be about a barn cat named Spots, but maybe there's something specific about him he, it wants us to learn, okay? Um, the picture shows me the cat, shows me that he's laying on some hay, there's a mouse there, maybe that's important, I'm not sure. So let's read it and see. Actually, you know what? Let's look at our options for the main idea first. And then when we read this, we'll talk about which one we think fits best. So an option is that the barn was dirty, hmm, maybe that's what it's about. Spots was gray and white, maybe they tell us more about that. Uh, the barn was a good place for Spots to live, maybe they're talking about that and spots often slept outside when it rained. Maybe they're talking about that. So let's read it. Spots was a large gray and white cat. Ooh, they are telling us about gray and white. Let's see if they keep talking about that or if that's just a supporting detail. Spots liked living in the barn. Hmm, so if he likes living in the barn, it's a good place for him to live. So maybe they're gonna keep talking about that. But in that, they didn't talk about him being gray or white in that sentence. So I don't think 
that A is going to be our option, okay? Oops, sorry, one second, I meant B. B is what we talked about. Okay, but we still haven't canceled out these ones yet, so let's keep going. It was warm in the winter and cool in the summer. There were many mice for spots to chase. Best of all, spots had a soft place to sleep in the corner of the barn. So they didn't say anything about him sleeping outside when it rained. And they didn't talk about it being dirty at all. But they told us through supporting details, many different reasons why the barn was a good place for spots to live. So for example, they said that he liked living in the barn. They talked about how it was warm in the winter and cool in the summer. They talked about how there were mice for spots to chase. And best of all, he had a soft place to sleep. So each one of these is supporting details because it proves the point that the barn is a good place for spots to live. So that's why it is our main idea, okay? That's what it's trying to tell us. So it wasn't in that first sentence, but we can use our thinking to decide that, okay? So here is what is going to happen next. Oh, actually, let's talk about it. Like I said, those were the supporting details we went through. And so the main idea we chose was that spots like living in the barn, okay? So here's what's going to happen. I have sent three sheets that look like this. There are three different levels and you are just gonna choose the one that you think best suits your skills. You don't have to do all of them. You're going to pick one and they go up in difficulty, okay? So level three would be the trickiest, most challenging and level one would be the least challenging. But that doesn't mean that you're not smart or that you don't understand. If level one is the level that you can do, that's awesome. That still shows me that you understand main idea, okay? So for the first level, what you can do is you can read this. You could take a look at the title, at the picture. You're gonna read it. Then what you're going to do is you're gonna decide which one of these options is the main idea. What the writing is mostly about. In these boxes, you're going to write three sentences from the writing that help to prove that point. So if the sentence is in there for the main idea, that's great. That wouldn't be a supporting detail. The supporting details are the other facts that talk about it and prove the point, okay? If you think you are up for level two, it looks a little bit different. So you're still going to read this. You're going to look at the title. It's called Ricky Ticky Tavi. And you're going to read the paragraph. And this time you're going to write it down. So you're gonna find the main idea and write it in this bubble. So instead of circling one, you're going to write it in this bubble. And you're still going to choose three supporting details that help to prove your point by writing them in the smaller bubbles, okay? Level three. You are going to look at the pictures and the title, and you're going to read the paragraph. Then you need to write the main idea in your own words. So even if it's in there in a sentence, it might be, that's fine, but you're not going to copy it down. You're going to write what it is in your words. So what you believe the main idea is, okay? You're not gonna copy it word for word. Then you are going to come up with two supporting details. You could even add a third down here if you'd like that help to prove that that's what it's about. And that those can be sentences coming straight from the writing, okay? So that's what you're going to do today. And I can't wait to see it. Um, you have today and tomorrow to do it, okay? Best of luck. Oh, also, here is a main idea song that you can try and learn if you'd like. If you learn this song and you can sing it for me, please send me a video. That would be so cool. It's fast. So it'd be a tricky one to learn.